the basket. But we are going to turn to the bond market now. Jonathan Sheridan from Fig Securities joining us live for an update. And I want to kick it off with local bonds because you're continuing to trade the Virgin uh, 2019 heavily. Talk us through why this one's in focus for you. Good afternoon, Ingrid. That's right. Yes, uh, I mean, it's a US dollar denominated bond, but from Virgin Australia uh, with a 2019 maturity, as you said. Uh, the positive news flow just following on from their announcement that uh, the Chinese consortium HNA will take an equity stake of a uh, building up to 20 percent has really uh, driven the bonds higher because the uh, capital injection is lower in the structure than the bonds, mm -hmm. so uh, provide support to them. So they've risen about three to three and a half percent in the last week or so. And uh, we've seen some heavy trading from uh, clients taking profits and, and institutions buying at that higher level. We've been focused on iron ore plays here at home today because of the China data, which of course sent the iron ore plays at least pairing back some of their earlier losses. Vale's been in focus for you though, and it's announced its first bond announcement in three years. What's behind this? Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, obviously with the Petrobras corruption scandal, Brazil and uh, the politicians and the sort of cosy relationship that they have with their major uh, corporations has been uh, a source of negative news flow over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. But positive news, obviously, for Vale in that they can now reaccess the global bond markets and, mm -hmm. and uh, have done so with a, a five year issue in the low sixes. So, you know, that's getting into proper high yield territory in the US market. Let's end on the big one, ANZ, of course, out overnight, uh, dominating in the US. Talk us through it. Yeah, look, a very interesting move from ANZ. I think they have obviously looked at the retail hybrid market here and, and thought that it's perhaps a bit saturated and, and they don't want to uh, drive those margins wider than they already are up around the high fours to 5%. So they've gone to the over-the-counter market in the States with a, an astonishing result. Uh, they're, they're pricing $1 billion uh, US dollars worth at 6.75% uh, fixed mm. for an initial 10 year non call period. But the, the astonishing thing is that they had order books of over 16 billion US dollars. Yeah. So just vast demand for any kind of high yielding, uh, well, uh, well rated corporate paper. Yeah, which I guess, as you say, high yielding, you know, well rated, it's, it's unsurprising that it had such strong demand. Jonathan Sheridan, we'll leave it there with you, but appreciate those insights. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. What do you think, guys, of that ANZ?